As you might already know, Yakuza is not a single organization but rather an umbrella term that is equivalent to something like a gangster or a gang. There are a bunch of different Yakuza groups, some have huge numbers of members and influence, while others are small and operate only on small scale. In 2015, a huge part of Yamaguchi Gumi Yakuza organization has left the clan and formed its own cult, Kobe Yamaguchi Gumi. There were disagreements between executives, so some of them packed their stuff and left, taking around 3,000 members along. Since then, there were many conflicts such as shootings between Yamaguchi Gumi and Kobe Yamaguchi Gumi. Hence, in January 2020, both clans were designated as Yakuza that are on the turf war. Such classification led police to execute more efficient crackdowns on these two clans that had significant negative influence on the Kobe Yamaguchi Gumi. Fast forward more than 5 years and you have a situation where Kobe Yamaguchi Gumi is significantly weakened while Yamaguchi Gumi, the largest Yakuza clan in Japan, is also weakened but still strong in comparison to other Yakuza clans. However, just recently it was announced that Yamaken Gumi, which is the largest family of the Kobe Yamaguchi Gumi organization, is joining their forces with Yamaguchi Gumi once again. It is said that despite bad blood, Yamaken Gumi leader will be able to keep his place as an executive of Yamaguchi Gumi organization, which is good news for Yamaken Gumi family as well as the whole organization, as it should minimize the conflicts within Yamaguchi Gumi. According to the published statistics, Yamaken Gumi has around 800 members. That's the amount of additional force that will be joining already most powerful Yakuza clan, Yamaguchi Gumi. As of now, many Yakuza headquarters are closed due to Yamaguchi Gumi and Kobe Yamaguchi Gumi being declared as organizations at war. But this whole situation might end a few years long war, which would allow Yakuza to use their headquarters once again. Hopefully, Yakuza's return to their offices will not bring additional crime in the regions where they operate. That's it for now guys, make sure you like and subscribe in case you want to see more Yakuza related content. Thank you.